meal is complete if it don't got meat. Hello? Stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. <laughs> I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further hi there Mister. we're here thank you for all your help you're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. saloon next to the freight station you know if I'm heading in the right direction sure sure just head over that way you'll get home fine thank you mister certainly do appreciate it certainly do get in quick folks before I eat all these chops myself
think I've found it. My house is just over here. This must be it. You sure do know your horses. That's a good one. A pleasure. Safe travel. Remember to rest that horse. I'll be there. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! I was doing just fine by myself! Yeah. Hey! 
baby, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? that gun down I warn you Arthur I'm I'm gonna I don't want to live anymore kid just calm down leave me alone now calm down let's go see your sister Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. None of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? 
Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We started getting started on this site, but we should have some fine Big Valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? Starting to run low, and I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. It Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. 
You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Oh, I remember that! We're on the path! Oh! Are we close to town? Easy now. <laughs> You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. It's called O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Yeah, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't no Driscoll. I knew you were scum coming out of my eyes on you. Go 
something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this town. I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Oh. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. 
Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Hey. Where's hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing them over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government or people whom the government like seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. I think we should keep a little distance from the water, don't you? Yep. Definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. 
But without me, you'll not find the Caliber's victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Look, binoculars, gentlemen. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well. You can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. Uh, Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
for these two. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take him down! Goddamn army of these bastards! How much is Sean about? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time! <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Trying to start with me? Let's you see feel like dying? Today? Me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Yeah. 
Captain. I just wanted to say. Arthur. I know oh, Arthur. You Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> All right there. Mind if I join you fine folk? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding Mr. with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Stop! What now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what's that? Oh, let him have some fun. He's been through a lot. Irish enjoy the party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I am enjoying it. Oh, I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally. Some good news, well, well, eh? Join the goddamn army! <laughs> Jesus! Right. I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just screaming to leave it, and, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. How are you doing? Hell, I'm doing real good. Mark my words. Oh, you mark my words. Look at me. 